When I grew up, I was an equestrian showing horses. And that was one of the best things I actually ever did for learning to be a great filmmaker and director. Here's the thing, whatever your nerves or energy are, your horse will absorb that and multiply it. It was one of the most powerful things I learned. I still kind of get a little emotional thinking about this because at that time as a kid, I'll just be honest with you, it was a very difficult time in my family and horses were kind of my savior. And spending time with this really big animal, thousand pounds that could actually kill me if, if they were upset or scared. Uh, and I saw a lot of wrecks with people when their animal was upset. I had the responsibility to be the leader. I'm on the horse, again, thousand pounds or more, bigger than me, and my responsibility was to be the leader and decision maker and then the horse to go where I wanted. And anytime I was nervous or I brought troubles with me or my concerns or I didn't feel prepared, the horse knew it. And so I had to train myself to learn how to get quiet, even if I was afraid or unsure has been one of the most powerful things I've ever learned in my life. So borrowing from that tip, I then trained my kids to learn to do that anytime they were doing a musical performance or they were actors. So we would go down for auditions and the trick would be get quiet. What we would do on our way down, driving from where I live down the mountain into Salt Lake where the actual auditions were, it, it was quiet time. I didn't ask them a bunch of questions. I didn't say, practice your lines with me. I didn't say, make sure you stand up straight. I didn't do anything to bother my kids. They had done their practice. They knew the role as well as they were going to at that point. And we took time to be quiet driving down the mountain. It made all the difference. And then again, when they got on set, same thing. And I sometimes forget to do this for myself. Yesterday, we were doing some filming. We were in a hurry. I didn't take quiet time. Take that time to get in a meditative state, be quiet and think, if I had a thousand pound animal right now next to me, would I be making him nervous? Because the truth is when, again, that physical softness, if you can borrow from this idea, I hope it helps, but think about riding a horse that's nervous. When they do that, every step is more bouncy and then you're stiff and you bounce and then you end up smacking, basically you're smacking off of the, the saddle like this and you're not gonna win any prizes and your horse might end up bucking. So mentally in your life so that you don't get bucked off, take quiet time.